Here's 911speakout.org. This is my website. I just want to show you something here. Over here, see that? It says physics lab. What I just recently did was, uh, here's a picture of building seven. I realized, this was literally very recent here. I said, in discussing my measurement of the free fall of building seven with one reluctant physics professor locally here, the professor at one point protested, I'll take your word for it, but for the sake of argument, but I have no way to confirm your claims for myself. I said, it astounded me because it was such a straightforward measurement, right? But then I started realizing, I actually was relying on collaboration with a number of key people to get together the videos, the data that I needed to calibrate the measurements, and all of these things, the software to do this with. I realized there is a fair amount of work that it would take for you to go out and reproduce my results. So, I put together a kit. Here's the lab instructions, like you could hand this, if you're a physics professor, you could hand this to a kid and say, here's your project. Here's the lab instructions, here's all the materials, uh, you can download it as a zip file here. And so if you're looking for a project, are you looking for a project? You're excited. <laughs> yes, you could basically go in and duplicate, you could do for yourself and make sure I didn't fudge you can go through and measure the motion of Building 7. You can use those same tools on other videos to measure other things, too. Once you get the skills, there's no stopping you, okay? You can do what I'm doing. And here's a little, I put together a little tutorial on using Tracker and all of it. So everything I use to put together these measurements, I put it together as a little lab. To, if you're interested, go for it. Do the measurements yourself, or assign it to your students. Yes. Uh, 